Okay, take three. Welcome back to Master's Challenge mod. I had my game crash the last time, and then I had another thing happen the last time. Now we should be finally recording. So, I have gone in, and I tweaked the sphere grid a little bit to adjust the characters to where they ought to be. So I will be keeping a little bit of a close eye on that, since I used the full party AP thing and maybe scuffed it a little bit, and I don't want to mess with the game too much. Granted, I don't think I had any levels that would have, like... It's kind of hard to, like, truly blow some of these bosses out of the water unless you're getting, like, a 10-level advantage or something. But then again, what do I know, right? So, just to be on the safe side, I will keep a closer eye on that from now on. Huge thank you to, for, uh, to Carifian for pointing out the spreadsheet thing. I totally glossed over that in the folder. And then as for other stuff, you might notice that this is in 50 FPS. If you're watching on YouTube, I'm playing at like 60 FPS because of my recording limitations currently. So I am using lossless scaling uh, in its frame generation feature to boost the frame rate of the game. Basically, at least to give it that kind of visual effect. I thought that would be a fun way to record the mod, you know, for a smoother visual experience. But I understand that, like, not everybody might necessarily like it. So if if you do not like it or this, like, makes you motion sick or you don't prefer the way this looks, you would rather have these be in the vanilla 30 FPS, please tell me. And I will see to it that I re-upload this at 30 FPS. You know, just for you guys. Just to make sure you guys have the best experience possible. But if you like it, then I'll keep uploading them like this because I think... I don't know, I think it looks cool, but that's just me. And then, as far as other notes from the last session, I didn't really have a whole lot else to really say post-session. I was a little worried at the time that I like goldfish brains too hard, but when I looked at it in post, I don't think I was... I don't think it was as bad as I was maybe making it out to be, even if I did, like, scuff the sphere morph a little bit. But nonetheless, I will try to, you know... Be chill, basically, uh, when recording in the future. And then, last thing, I did mention the Lulu keyboard input for her Fury Overdrive. So I actually tried that. And the way that that works is, basically, when you're playing with keyboard, instead of, like, pressing the arrow keys or anything like that you might think, they just make you mash A and D. Which, for me, is pretty easy, because I'm really good at mashing. At least I like to think I'm pretty good at mashing. So now we have a usable version of Lulu's Overdrive that I can now use. Which is pretty helpful because not having access to her Overdrive kind of... It, it's a real bummer. Because then she just has it and since I have not given her in trust, then there's just no... You know, it's just there. Like, she can't even give it to somebody else without entrust. It's just, it's helping nobody. So hopefully from now on, that is an improved situation. Ah, let me check on my cheat engine thing since the game crashed again. Hang on. Man, I love having a bajillion windows open recording this. It's great. All right. All of our affairs sorted out. All of my armor situated. I'll just go over it real quick. This is what I have initially given to my characters. I'm thinking for this particular fight... Oh, I gotta change my overdrive modes in a minute. For this particular fight, just whatever I have on hand that contributes to physical defense or HP or things like that, I'm gonna have on my characters. And then depending on what the boss throws at me, I will then potentially customize things. And then since I don't know what the changes are for this boss, we'll just go back to Old Faithful. And see how that serves us. I'll just double check. Yeah, alright. Let's save again. 
I've been looking forward to this recording session. I haven't gotten to come back to Master's Mod for a bit. I've been working on some other stuff for the past week. Uh, Destiny related. Not that big. And that's going to take a minute to come out, but I am looking forward to it. It is a fun project, I think. Of course, they give us an encounter right before we go down there. Right. Ah, oh, it's so smooth. I really love this loss of scaling thing. So, even if I have to re-upload this in 30 FPS, I would consider recording with loss of scaling in the future and then maybe just leaving it at 30 FPS for you guys if that's what you prefer watching the game at. Although then again, at that point, I could just not bother using loss of scaling because it does cause the occasional weird visual effect they might have already noticed. But all of that aside, I have not done this encounter. So what have we got? That I kind of expected to be the same. And this is pretty much the same lightning element. So more of the same, which is not a bad thing. Uh, in this instance. So, Kamari is going to be able to blind the dog, I think, before it gets a turn. So he should be fine there. That is the next dude who gets a turn. So what would I want to do about him? So we don't have Yuna, which is normally our, you know, hero of the day. Get the Null in there. So this dude is weak to water. I don't know if I want to take my chances. I think to be on the safe side, I will throw a phoenix down at it. To be honest, I'm not sure if this is even going to work. Maybe it's immune to the instant KO. We'll have to see. I wondered. Okay. I don't know how much damage Waka's gonna do. Oh, do you know what? I could have had Waka use alchemy. That may have... That probably would have done the HP damage to kill it. Oh, Waka has Sleep Buster. He's got... Okay. Totally, totally forgot. Yeah. That is the way to go. And Kimari will be able to silence that, so we'll be good there. Got you covered. I kind of forgot what my characters ended up getting from from Spheromorph as far as abilities and stuff. So if I seem to not be familiar with my own inventory, that is why. Just because Oh, oh that's right, they can they can do that. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, if I'm not familiar with my own inventory, that is why. This is such a gross spot to have encounters, like right before a boss battle. Let's see what kind of counterattack damage we're taking. I might just run inside the travel agency and oh god get the save sphere yeah i i'm thinking that's what we do did i attempt to have waka just put this guy to sleep too if we're gonna go back in Let's see. So this kills it, right? Yeah. All right. 
No, magic is not crazy useful on these dudes. What kind of damage is Kimari doing again? Uh, not a lot. That's right, he does have cheer though. Okay, back inside the travel agency we go, and hopefully we do not get another encounter or crawler. Actually, huh? You guys saw that, right? I don't know, scary music, oh no. Uh, I don't know if I want to save again. See, I feel like I'm going to get another encounter because because I ran back to the travel agency, right? Yeah. I This is such a gross spot to have encounters like cuz it's it's close enough to the boss battle that like you ought to be able to just go and deal with the boss, but you're stuck doing this. And, like, it's just far away enough from the save sphere that, like, if you backtrack and you come back to the encounter, you're going to be dealing with it. Oh my gosh. Alright, well. E Both dogs get a turn. Unfortunately. I guess since I've got nothing better to do, let's just demo a Fire of Fury. See if I can... Oh no! Oh no! It's because I... Oh, it's because I confirmed it with my controller that it... It didn't actually give me the keyboard prompts. Oh my gosh. I really hate that there's encounters here. Like, I can't describe how much that frustrates me. And plus two, like, now we don't have Yuna, so we can't null. That's so annoying, dude. Thought I got rid of that. Right, well, she's not supposed to have luck. I did check. I just won't use it. Oh my gosh, that's right. We're nulled. These encounters in this specific spot are so gross. Poison. Rip. She's probably... Oh, no, not quite dead. Okay. So the flames seem to act more like a support enemy than a direct attacking enemy. Because they only really counter-attack you. I 
foresee no difficulty. So does the plan have to use a turn to silence Proofify? Okay, so that's his turn. I'm gonna run back and hit the save sphere again, and then this time... I don't know, I might just turn on no encounters, I'm gonna be honest. The encounters in this spot, I'm not... I'm not really jiving with that. You're gonna have to forgive me for that one. Oh, wait. Oh, the silence proof of fire just straight up makes it immune to silence once it uses that. Whoa. So you get one chance to use silence. Oh my gosh. What a nasty enemy. Jeez, bro. Let's do that. So he just takes that death here. And then Titus can live this, right? Barely. Can Kamari do anything special? Not really. Oh, he does have a Suna. I did forget about that. There's a lock I have. Nothing great. Just the sleep skills once once he's fixed. I'm just not about this no encounters thing. Or about the encounters like right here in this awkward spot before the boss. Uh, it's just not... I'm not really down with that. Oh, are you serious? Oh, there's no way.
Yeah, sorry y'all, I'm just not... I'm not doing these encounters. Not there. We'll get the Makalania ice area encounters after we do... You know, when we come back from Seymour 1. Okay. Negator seals, skills, magic, and aeons. Okay, what about these? Still got those. Let's see, too small for attacking it to damage. Uh, oh, okay, so this is one of the Machina that isn't gonna punish Waka for. Yeah, okay. Now, Riku's use command, I think we can also use, like, Electro Marbles or whatever we've got on the Negator. So, we'll do that too. Oh, huge damage. Okay. Let's... Should have put that on to start with. How bad is this going to hurt? Holy smokes, bro. Good gravy. Okay, then. Oh, wait, he doesn't have alchemy on now. Ah, right. Hmm. Unpleasant. I think Comrade is probably fine here, considering we're taking a truckload of damage from the thing. Good golly gosh. So we're gonna we're gonna wipe here, I think. Ah, we can't power break it yet till the negator is gone. So we're not gonna be able to use guard either. Since since that's a party wide attack. Uh, let's just see if this guy's immune to threaten. I'm doubting. Oh, dude, negate. <laughs> Crawler does not like that. Okay, so it uses the Gatling gun like eight ish times. Yeah, we are like cooked there. Let's see, this is a save from before I think I even lost Yuna. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. So, what's our overdrive? So all, all that stuff is set then. Let's... I guess... Torn between keeping Kimari in, or do I put Waka in straight away? Waka's kind of slow, though. I guess we'll just do that. Because Waka, he's going to contribute to the battle a little more directly, I think. Ooh, hold on. Let me... They were both vulnerable to, like, water, right? Not just Thunder. Let me find that ball that I just equipped. Or wherever the Water Strike ball was. Where is that? Sleep Proof Water Ball. What's something we could put on this, I wonder? Oh my gosh, Strength plus 20. What MP cost? Oh, wait, no, no, no. Those aren't actually things. Those are not part of my actual inventory. I'm going to have to take those out in a minute. The, the Warp Spheres were just for me to move around the or to, to backtrack my characters a little bit to where they were supposed to be don't worry i'm not going to use them oh did i actually put waka in my lineup did i did i remember to do that okay yeah 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 so we'll, we'll get two of these in 
And I'm thinking we're going to have to have Riku use a light curtain for herself because there's just no way that she's going to be able to avoid having like two of those things hit her. And there's a possibility I use a light curtain on somebody else also. Yuck. Just yuck, man. Yeah, let's go for a light curtain on everybody. I forgot who's got lower defense right now. We'll just do that. Actually, I don't think Waka even needed to switch to Alchemy to throw a Mega Potion, to be honest. It was a little unnecessary. Kind of overkill healing there. The other thing I wonder about now that I'm sitting here is could we do something with like with Yuna and Lulu and Reflex that might also be a play to be made. This is more of a traditional approach that I would use I think. But I'm going to stick with it for this one. Just curtain it up. And let's see. Methinks I should not spend another Mega Potion here. Let's do that. Titus. Yeah, not in a great spot if he gets hit again. But he can heal himself. So let's go for some damage. Dude, what the heck, man? The RNG is so cruel. Now, she has no protect. No cheer stacks. Is Riku just a liability? Do we just not use Riku in this fight? Because even with a light curtain, like if you get bad RNG, she's just dead. I don't know if I can really afford that. I think instead of Riku, I might have to just have like Yuna and Lulu maybe. Or else I have Riku like pop in to throw light curtains and then get out before the boss takes a turn. At least for this first part, until I can get her, like, hasted. But I just don't think that Riku and Gatling Gun are a good mix. She just has too little HP. Of course, I could also customize, maybe. Give Riku, like, an HP plus armor. And auto-protect, I think. I think we have access to that. So maybe there's a play to be made there. see but these two have protect at least and they're taking pretty little damage overall 
Although the problem is that since it's being distributed between two characters now, it's kinda... Kinda eh. I'm probably gonna reset this attempt. I just wanna bring the negator down. I wanna at least try to bring the negator down and see what that dude will do. Can I do that? Out of range. Can I... Energy rain? It's not gonna hit the negator, is it? Hmm. Not great. Maybe we guard here. That could also be a thing I do with Riku, is just guard to mitigate the RNG. Dude, that's so much easier when the frame rate is higher than 30. Like, genuinely, that was substantially easier than any of the times I've tried to use that overdrive. Oh my gosh. Ooh, okay, we're safe. We're chilling. Alright, now... Let's do that. Oh my gosh, the delay, though. Anti-magic beam in three turns. I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of that at all. So, I'm getting the impression that this thing is going to counter everything with assaults. Yeah. Into magic beam in two turns. Okay. I just want to see what we're working with this time. I'll also see, can we slow him? No. Alright. Fair play. Magic Beam in one turn. So, see what that does. It seems like our damage situation is pretty good, provided we can live against this boss. Yeah, our damage against this boss is fine. I think it's literally just the surviving. So, let's see. Is this a one-hit kill? I'm, I'm assuming this is one-hit kill. Ah, that's what it means by anti-magic. It takes your MP away. Hmm. Dispel. Ah, that's probably in case you broke it. All right. Okay, let's try this again. Ah. Customizing. So what do I have for Riku in general? We've got... We've got this thing. This has three free slots. That's probably our best bet. And then we have that, which isn't going to help. Wow, alright. So we have, like, one thing we can... One thing we can use. Okay. Let me have a look for a minute. See what I want to... Okay, so we can't do auto-protect. That is out of the question. We can do SOS protect. Which, if we were to combine SOS protect with maybe an HP plus and or an auto-regen. Well, no, I don't think the auto-regen would be the difference maker there, to be honest. I don't think that would be a huge difference. Mm. So if I were to commit... Uh, I could 
commit both SOS Protect and Defense plus 20. So let's suppose... So let's suppose that our Gatling Gun is going to do 500 damage a hit, right? We put Defense plus 20 on there. That knocks it way down to 400. Which is pretty good just to start with and then we've got cheer stacks which are bringing it down even more per stack then we've got sos protect so if she gets unlucky then the protect kicks in and we don't necessarily need to use another light curtain on her granted that's five light curtains and then another two for sos protect so at that point it'd be worth it to just do defense plus 20 and then a normal protect, maybe. That's what I'm. That's what I'm feeling, personally. I'm gonna give that a try. So defense plus twenty, and then I'll just I'll just use the light curtains as light curtains. Any kind of HP pluses I want to do. Now, these all seem too costly, really. Well, except for, like, this one. But I think at that point, it's not even worth it. It's, like, 45 HP or something around that range. It, it's not really enough for me to justify doing that. So that is what I will do. And we will, I guess, give that another try. So, I already get two cheer stacks, and then we throw this on. Then... I guess we'll have, we'll have Kimari cheer just to get his turn in. Not sure if I'm really gonna have Kimari be a part of my actual battle strategy in this one. Oh, Kimari's evasion is coming in clutch. Actually, I should have had Waka defend, have Hariku heal herself. Hmm. Hate to do it, but I think that's the best way to keep him alive right now. Actually, Waka's physical defense ain't too bad. Not bad at all. Maybe alternatively, you could, like, defend spam at the beginning. Have everybody on comrade. Then we get Titus to, like, entrust to Riku. And then we get her to do, like, a Mighty G or something. Maybe there's something to that. I'm going to take my chances and defend to see what happens here. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, she would have had to gotten had to have gotten picked on real badly. Then one more of these after this. Let me bring that thing down. Does Yuna know? Oh, actually, I have no way of knowing until we, until we have our magic back. Oops. Yeah. Oh my gosh, no! We're so slow, dude. Yuna knows protect also. Ooh, okay. Unfortunate thing is nobody's getting any turns until you know. Oh she also knows shell. Let's just start throwing some buffs around, I think. I think that's why I want to dedicate the first image phase to is you just throw buffs around. I still can't remember if we're supposed to have luck here. I think we might actually, I think luck might actually be something that she did learn. I'll double check for a second. Okay, not quite. So I'm going to have Riku just do that. Try to get her out quickly. I think regardless, we cannot have Riku be on the field when the boss does its anti-magic beam. I think that's just too devastating. Eh. We're not going to have time to haste. I wanted, I wanted to haste Riku before we took her out of here. I guess, to be honest, once we have everyone hasted that we want, we won't really need Titus for the moment. So I suppose we could just haste him, haste Riku, and then if we've got Shell on everyone, then we might not have much to worry about. 
Actually, no, no, because Riku doesn't have the HP or like magic. Dip. No. Okay, we'll. Uh, what are we thinking? We'll do this. Oh, perfect. Actually, yeah. I, I want Lulu not to be in here. I don't think there's anything MP-related from Waka that I want for him to be... Yeah. So I'm just going to have him... Have him do that, and then we'll shell. And then I think that's all of the... MP stuff we'll worry about. Oh, wait. Titus isn't full health. Shoot. Well, he's gonna die. I totally forgot about that. Oh, wait. That's a full... Oh, that's a full field dispel. Ooh. Okay. Okay. This changes the game a little bit. I was thinking that that's just going to dispel the boss if we, like, use Power Break or something on it. No. That is totally different. Okay. I think Waka's safe here, even if we do this. She doesn't have Protect or anything anymore, right? Oh, no, she does. Ooh, okay. Gross, dude. Alright, let's have a look at the mixing list. Okay, so this will bring Titus back. Oh, but wait. No, never mind. That's not what I thought it was. Hang on. Uh, oops. I was trying to make not that I was looking at recipes and then I saw one and then and then I went to look at a different thing but then I made the wrong one whoops okay I think we uh, are cooked and what happens if we just okay yeah yeah we we did determine that already all right let me come back to this again we'll reevaluate re our strategy maybe right so I've had a slightly new idea oh, I scroll past it again oh, where is it I keep losing the thing there we go so slightly new idea which is we still do this but i want to try having sos haste on so that now if she gets to low health then she's hasted and this will help in the parts of the battle where we have negator up i think 
And again, I, I still don't think there's any other customizes I want to bother with on here. But maybe this makes a small difference. Because then we can get, like, Negator out of the picture faster. And move to the other phase of the fight. Because in the other phase, the boss isn't even attacking. So we're able to kind of do a little bit of, like, buffing and stuff. Or wait. Well. Very, very limited, to be honest. Because, again, it, like... It's, it's dispelling. The negator dispels everybody when it comes back. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. That kind of... That throws a wrench in so many things. I'm just going to have to see... Let's have you defend. I've learned my lesson. Yeah, see? So now she's got cheer. Or not cheer, she's got haste. I, st I don't know if I want to use these light curtains at this point, just because of... Because of the characters being them having, like, them losing the buffs, I, I want to be pretty mindful that I'm not using a whole lot of stuff that I'm just going to end up losing, you know? Hmm. Oh, now we're kind of in a pickle. Uh. Do I just... I guess I just do that. Right, because she still doesn't have... Ooh, does that take her turn away? Hold up. Okay, okay, we're good. I was wondering about that. Yeah, in the last battle, I meant to do a final phoenix. But I was looking at the mega phoenix recipes first. And I saw one that looked pretty accessible, which is the one I ended up using. And then I went to look at the Final Phoenix recipes, but then I still used the recipe for the Mega Phoenix, despite my intentions. So that is what we in the business call an oopsie. And I will be trying to not do that, uh, if I can help it, for the most part. Gosh. This is spooky, man. I don't think our cheer stack situation is great right now. You know, it's really not. How? Mm. Ah, I see. Yeah, this kind of sucks with this agility because we can't. So now I just can't really stack cheer anymore. Mm, not great. I think Riku's in a pretty easy to, position to be dying now. Yeah, I had a feeling. Let's die. Let's give that another go, I think. I want to try and 
execute this strategy a little more smoothly. I'm going to try having Waka be in the initial lineup. So my, my thought process or like plan for this fight is I kind of want to play for Riku's overdrive and then just mix some like really strong attacking stuff and then just try to rotate everybody in when we have a little bit more downtime. the boss is going to use Assault if she uses the Overdrive right this second, so I'm going to cheer again just to be safe. Hmm, this is not great. Just guard. Hope for the best. Alright, well this kind of sucks. We lose haste, but do that. Hmm. Kind of wanted to entrust to her sooner, but I, I don't know. Let's, let's just see. At that point, it probably would have just been better to wait. I've got dragon scales now, right? I want to use a couple of those. Ouch time. Oh, she lives. Okay. Okay. 
I think he lives that. Yeah. And then Riku, I think we just want her to be nowhere near that anti-magic beam. And let's get Orin out. Can we do that? Yeah. Barely. I think anybody else is just gonna die. Or does it matter the least if they die? I guess I would have to say Waka. Or what kind of buffs does Riku have? Do we protect her? We did. We don't want to lose that. Waka doesn't have protect. Yeah, I think he just dies here. I don't know if I want Lulu to lose her MP. I just can probably entrust to Riku again for another overdrive. Yeah. Have Riku use a supporting overdrive like a mighty G or something. That's all I want to do. Oh, but we can't entrust, we have no MP. Ah, uh, right. Kind of. That takes us out of SOS. So, and we, we have protect still. So I say we just do that and pray. Okay.
kind of damage are we going to get off of these? Pretty substantial increase. Good gravy. Barely living there. Okay, that's like tickling me, tickling her. We're good. It's gonna do about 2k damage. Mm -hmm. Let's just see, this is probably gonna be a little less. No, no, the Blitz Ace was more than 2k that first time. Bad mass. Lulu is a lost cause without haste. Oh, but then it's a good thing she has haste. Does she also have protect? I'm gonna do that. Oh shoot. Thing is though, we don't have like shell and stuff this time. I think we cook him. We've got to somehow find a way to just get rid of it now. I think that's the name of the game here is DPS race. So we spent a few resources on this, probably more than we needed to. But we got the kill. And I think that's the important part. And we'll probably make some of that stuff back besides maybe the mega potions. We might not get many of those for a while. Solid. I'll make sure to just correct wherever the characters are supposed to be with our plane and the spreadsheet. Oop, I did not see what I got. I was not paying attention.
Oh, dude, that's nothing. Are you kidding? Oh, that's so bad. All right, bro. White magic sphere. Now that is huge. I don't know if... I don't know if I want to go back all the way to, like, that second chest up there before Seymour. Because that's a lot of encounters to go through, and... I don't know if I want to turn on no encounters for that. Oh, there we go. We made some mega potions back. Yeah, that was a pretty interesting fight. A little DPS check. The, the taking away the MP points definitely hurts because it's like the MP for your haste and protect and stuff is one of like the main forms of counterplay you have against it so after that first like after that first anti-magic beam like the ramifications of surviving another one it's just it starts to get real costly real quick So that was that was fun. It was fun to kind of use the items and let loose a little bit. Let me disable my cutscene remover real quick so I can get the gear from Mr. Trommel. And then I will have a look at the chests in here and then the sphere grid and then I'll have a look at Seymour. Lady Yuna's guardians. Thanks to you. I don't want to listen to him. It... Oh my gosh, dude. Like, this is something. But I don't know if it's beating out my triple ward armor. I guess it depends on how much magic resist she ends up with. Alright, let me turn cutscene remover back on. One second. Mysterious trauma is suddenly gone. What kind of money do we have? Not a lot. Oh, now I have a little more. Which of these have the chest in them? I can never remember. It's huge. So I kind of scuffed... Actually, I don't even know if I'd call that fight scuffed. Like, It didn't really click with me as one where like I had this perfect vision for like exactly how I could get it to go. It felt like you just... It definitely felt like just uh, playing it by ear is kind of the way to go. What happens, happens. But very fun. I liked it. I would say that was one of the more fun bosses once you got into it a little bit. Okay, let's go back to formation. Save again. I'm gonna check Owaka as well. Hooray for Maester Seymour's wedding! What you got, my man? Interesting that we have silence proof for Titus. I feel like I already bought a dark proof for Waka. Okay, a three free slot Waka weapon could be something to that. But nothing here is really calling to me. Oh, I hear Lady Yu. I wonder if that means she and just like Lady Unileska and Lord Zeon. Hooray! God, dude, six hundred for high potions. I do think I have to buy some of these. I used several in that last fight. Oh my gosh, dude, this is costly. Phoenix Downs, I'm honestly probably good on, especially after that chest. Now I realized I did not learn Stone Breath. And while I could technically backtrack to get Stone Breath, I don't want to do that. And also Kimari's not going to start with an overdrive anyway. So I'm going to 
just, I guess, do this particular battle without stone breath and without petrify grenades, and I will have to figure out something to do about the Guado Guards. Surely they don't counterattack with auto potion, right? Because when you don't have steel to disable that and be able to actually kill them, I can't imagine that would really be fair or reasonable. Especially with our very clear lack of one one hit killing things. I don't know. With that, I'm gonna look at this fear good. I'm gonna double check with my spreadsheet. And after I've done all that, I will get back to you guys and then run you through the sphere grid stats that I got. So stay tuned. So starting with Riku conveniently, we got this, which technically I already had, but whatever. We've got that. Strength, magic defense. I'm trying not to go too fast, but a little bit of that, a little bit of that, that, and a bunch of max MP. And copycat now this is going to be a lot of fun i hope at least because copycat is something that like is so niche because you get it late like beyond when you would ever normally need it so getting to actually play with copycat for once should be fun and titus we were like over here ish i think somewhere around there so we got some accuracy we got quick hit which is pretty cool And then we got those. Nothing too crazy. So Kimari, interesting case. It's a little tricky for me to gauge how many levels he's actually supposed to be at. So I'm kind of leaving him alone for the most part. But I did fill in these strength nodes up here. So we got this. So now he's got more strength. And then I went immediately for magic defense. So I figure we can backtrack for the magic stat a little later on. Because until he knows, like, Flare and some stuff, it's not really going to help him. That being said, though, I may use the White Magic Sphere to teach Kimari something. Not sure what yet. Maybe, like, Shell. It depends on what happens in this boss fight if I decide to teach him something. But decent chance that that's happening. Which could be pretty hype. I'm kind of excited about that. So Waka. A little more agility, which is nice. A little more accuracy, strength, HP. Magic defense. And Dark Buster. That's a big one. Lulu, we've got more agility. And magic defense. And magic and HP. So nothing revolutionary, really. Or an, also nothing revolutionary, really. Just uh, some more defense and HP. and Yeah. So now to prepare for this fight, no clue what I want. So I'm just going to throw on all of those element armors that I made for Sphere Morph. And we will see what happens. Because at this point, I ain't got a clue. Alright. Let us attempt. Let's see more. Oh, I should have a second look at my weapons, too. I totally forgot. Now, this is a boss I am definitely nervous for because, number one, it's a long boss. So, I don't even know if I'm going to beat it in this session, full disclosure. But also, you know, normally the Seymour bosses are all pretty complex as they are. So, to alter them in any way, that should be interesting. Oh my gosh. 
That's how we're starting this. Oh no. Huh. Huh. Well, this isn't how you're supposed to play the game. Wait, but... But wait. Oh, no. Oh, dude. But, but this isn't what... Oh, dude. Oh, we're so cooked. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. We're gonna beat this? We're gonna. We're at, are we gonna beat this? I mean, not this time, but like. How do you even begin to approach this? Right, so. Ice, lightning, water, and fire in that order. So this is the same. Interesting. Oh, there's that at least. Oh, what? What was that? Dude, playtime is over. Seymour is not here for fun. Holy smokes. Where do we even begin? Where where do you even begin? I don't know if there's any equipment that I could really change necessarily. Why? Uh... Dude. Oh, dude. What can we put on armor? Can we... So we're not getting any kind of proofs. Like, straight up, that's not happening. Automed? I don't know, dude. Is an automed even gonna... Now we're just gonna burn through our item supply. That's stupid. I'm so stunned. Dude. That's terrifying. What do you do about that? So I'm not... I'm not going to change overdrive modes until... I've like actually figured out a real strategy for this. Because I just have no clue where to even begin to approach this. Alright, so the right side, Guado, casts Mighty G. And 
on the left side one cast focus. I'm wondering, do I need to make a note of like what, what do each of them do? Can we? Yuna is never gonna get her turn in before they do. Man, dude, where's our Final Fantasy XII to spell go? Where's that? Where's that when you need it? I don't know if it's safe for me to really talk to Seymour at this point. I think we just need to... Oh my god, dude. Dude, I think Yuna might just have to get an auto med. Because we're going to be using this anyway. That just... That needs to be a thing. Thanks, man. Okay. Let's start with a little bit of that. Oh, dude. Okay. What if... Let's... Maybe there's something to be said for that. Oh my gosh, they have no sleeping animation? Oh, good gravy. Okay, so the... Seymour is going to prioritize people who aren't... Who don't have gnolls. So that's good to know. Jeez, bro. That Shremedy is a disgusting move. At least they don't have auto potion, am I right? Right? Alright, let, let's experiment. Are they susceptible to threaten? Yes. Alright. This is like a whole league above anything else that's been in this mod. What do we do with Titus's first strike? Like, what, what do we do? I'm gonna tell you one thing. I'm gonna do now is we get Yuna some kind of. Some kind of auto med. I think if we're gonna do auto med for Yuna, this might be the smartest thing. Because besides confuse, there's no other situation where she would actively be prevented from auto medding herself. So let me do that. Actually, let me check. I don't know if I have any weapons for Yuna that I can customize. But I want to see. I just wanted to see if we could get first strike on something. I don't think we can. No. So let's just put auto med on the, that ring. Because she really cannot be using up her turns on, like, remedies and stuff for herself. That's just not happening. Man, always starting with Kamari. That's tough. Can we... I don't know if that's going to do anything.
I don't think it does. And I guess I will change everyone's overdrives to Rook. And then I'll just bounce back to this auto save. Unless I want to change like a customizer or anything. Yeah, no, we always start with Kamari. That haste gun, man. That's disgusting. I don't know, is it more worth it to haste her to slow them? I don't know. I honestly, I don't know. Ugh. I guess we get one other turn before the boss. Um, and let's, uh, I'll just try it this way. Wait, what? Wait, but, oh no, because she doesn't have it equipped. She doesn't even have the automatic equipped. Oh no. Oh, dude, this is such an awful spot to be in for this boss. I can't change any of Yuna's equipment beforehand. No, wait, no. Not like this, guys. Ah. Yeah, thanks, man. Hang on. Okay, now we just pray that Seymour doesn't know to target Yuna after this goes away. This is impossible. What do you do? Oh my gosh. I'm not even sure. Dude, honestly, the play may just be I go all the way back and get Stone Breath, come back with Kimari, and then. Oh, but no, because he knows Mighty Guard already. So I was thinking, like. If he didn't know Mighty Guard, he could just lance it, get his, get Mighty Guard off of them, and then, and then Stone Breath. No. Dang it, dude. <laughs> we tried, lads. We tried. Oh, wait. Titus can't talk because he's silenced. That's really funny. Or wait. No, what? Hold on. Well, Waka's silenced too. Why? Why is it that he can't? Why is it that he can talk? Oh! Does that do nothing? Maybe the talks are just there? Confusing. Dude, I don't even, like, remotely have a plan of approach for this. Because they start so far ahead. Like, even before Titus's first strike comes into play, they just have this massive advantage by having Haste and Mighty Guard, dude. 
I don't know, do I use this as an attempt to just see what the talk command does? I'm just going to wipe here a whole bunch of times, gather information. I knew you were bad news the first time we met. Oh, my sincerest apologies. Seymour! I'm actually so mad that I have actually no agency in being able to get the auto med on her before this fight. Like, the only way is if I were to load up before Crawler... Customize the auto med and then come back here. Oh my gosh, dude. That's so many hoops to jump through, man. I didn't suppose this was going to be easy, but. Oh my gosh, no, they get two turns. No, I think we're just cooked. I, I don't think we went. I think we're. it's already a game over. Because even if I do this, what's going to happen is Seymour just gets two turns and blasts us all into oblivion. Okay, so anytime somebody isn't under the effects of Shremedy, they're just going to spam focus. But like when you're when you're Shremedy, there's nothing you can do. Like there's actually nothing you can do. And maybe SOS Nulls are not so bad after all. Hmm, he's got Dark Proof. That's cool. Maester, we must stop this! Oh, strength up. Ow. Methinks we may need... Ah, this is before my customizer, right? I think it is. So... I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna keep doing this. So Waka has something with Dark Proof. I think I bought him this. If we if we were to get poison proof on there, he would be in an okay spot, I think, to potentially survive Shremedes. So I guess as an experiment, we'll see how many items does it take to make a 
poison proof. Let's get up to 50. Oh my gosh, that's so expensive though. I don't even know if that would be worth it. Let alone the 99 that it normally costs to get a ward. Yeah, dude. I don't know if I'm sold on that, actually. Oh, it only costs 30. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm seeing the vision. Game over real quick. Alright, I was gonna cut this out of the video, but dude, look at those doors. The safe spheres in the middle of the battle. That's amazing. Okay, okay. Oh, let's also... Just put everybody on Rook. I think that is going to be the 100% play for Overdrive modes. Get you on this. Alright, that's stuff I 100% know I want to have saved. Hooray for Maester Seymour's wedding! Let's get 14 of these. I'll have a few left over. And then for Waka, let me customize... Oh, I went way past it. Poison proof. Alright, so now Waka is, like, pretty safe to use, honestly. Because he's got immunes for both of those. And then... Where's that thing? There it is. So, honestly, instead of Automed, I was kind of thinking about doing a Silence Proof for Yuna. Or maybe if there's an armor where we've got the slots to do this and this. For now, I'm gonna... Uh, well, no, because the thing is, if I do Automed for her... Uh, yeah, that's kind of... I don't know about that. Because she's just going to use remedies, right? And we've got, like, none. Well, we have basically none, really. Yeah, I don't know about that. So maybe the play for her is a silence proof, poison proof. But I have to check my inventory and see if I've got anything with two slots. No. Ooh, okay. That might be it then. Let's see, how many are we off? We need 12 more of those, 18 more of those. This is getting so expensive. Wait, that's not what I meant to buy. <sighs> we'll be right back. Okay, I don't really have any other brilliant ideas right now. I just went and did the customizes that I was talking about a minute ago before I cut out a bit of the intermission. Yeah. So we've got armor for Yuna and Waka that will hopefully... Remedy the Shremedies a little bit. Poison damage. Wait, do I? I didn't put the right ones, right? 
Yeah, okay. I'm tripping. Titus more, why don't you? Okay. Dude, what the heck? Well, that's the desired outcome, unfortunately. Oh my gosh. See, I don't think we can even reasonably... If we revive Titus, then I think he just gets nuked, right? Yeah, dude. I don't know. Are we already screwed? Jeez, bro. Four times on the same person is just death. Let's see. Ah, yeah. That's right. This is a mechanic also. Dang, dude. Are we just screwed? Because it picked Titus like four times in a row? Jeez, man. That's insane. I'm like starting to wonder now. Do I just need to have Titus slow them instead of haste us? Because truthfully, I think that may be more efficient to do. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, I think we need to not have Seymour be hasted, man. That's just... Yeah, so he's not going to be slow, but... I kind of just... We just can't have Seymour be spamming magic as fast as he was last time. That was just ridiculous. Oh, but dude, no. We can't have Marion here. Get him out. Good lord, dude. Am I even going to get to... What the heck? Alright, hold on. Let's... Oh, that's one thing we can do. And then if I haste her, does she get her turn first? Yes. So now... Yeah, let's do that. Of course, you pick the one person who's got no... No means of counteracting it. I think this will be fine, provided they don't use... Provided they don't use, like...
if they're not able to, if they're not able to get hasted or anything again then I think we're okay otherwise this is kind of good gravy man what is this targeting RNG Man, getting a foothold in this battle is so freaking hard. There's just so little that you're able to do. I think we're dead again. Like, ugh. I don't have... I don't know, dude. I don't really have that great of an idea for... What what kinds of things can we use? Let's let's look at that. I got that. I don't think that's gonna prevent them from using Shremedy. And then that's it. Yeah, we have damage and then we have this. Yeah. Uh eh, let's let's see. We'll at least give this a try. Well, so, I don't know. I actually don't know if that, if that actually does anything. They did not auto-med heal themselves from darkness. But I think we're going to die, so I'm not really sure if this is going to... I'm not sure if we're going to get to actually see... Whether or not the smoke bomb prevents them from using the Shremedies. I have no clue. And then Waka, he has no lightning ward. I mean, he does, but then you just get nuked by the Shremedy. And then that takes us down to a thousand. No, we're still dead. Dang, man. That's tough. Hmm. Okay. Let me at least see... Let me at least see if they Shremedy her. If they're affected by darkness. Oh, gross. Okay, well, we've figured something out. If you blind them, they don't use the Shremedy. And then, of course, we want to slow Seymour. That's like 100%. You must do that. If you don't, he's just going to nuke you down so fast. Interesting. That is not the kind of thing I would have expected. Alright, well, we're, ju we're just going to die here. Wait, no? So then... Well, hold on. So then that's nothing, then. Okay. Maybe they just weren't doing it. I don't know. I mean, those guys heal quick. I'm going to have to come up with some ridiculously effective Melt Strat. Because if we don't, if we do not get rid of them quickly, like, it is just game over. What if instead of slowing Seymour first, we slow one of them first? Or if I haste myself. 
Now let's just let's do that. Alright, well now we've got a normal speed Guado Guard. Yeah, let's put that one to sleep. And do I want to slow Seymour or slow that one also? Oh, well, Seymour's going to get two turns if we don't do something, so I think we have to slow him also. Please, RNG gods. Okay. That's something. I think we have to. Yeah, we gotta heal him. There's no choice. Oh, I haven't had Eunice switch her armor yet. So, does the remedy count as a turn? It does. That wasn't a counter. He was spending his turn to use the remedy there. And that's a very important distinction. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Seymour used ice already. He hasn't gone again. I think. Oh my gosh, I've totally forgotten. Yeah, no, I don't remember us getting hit by a second wave of things. Oh, who do I want to haste? Maybe we haste Waka and try to get him to melt through the Guado Guards. Perfect. Ouch. Oh, snap. Maybe we haste Yuna and get her to shell herself for us. Both. Oh, snap. Well, eh, on the plus side, she wasn't missing anything. Do we... Oh, snap. We have no elements of any kind. We're cooked. We're so cooked, dude. No! It was going so well, then I made one misstep. Alright, so next time, I guess, if we get to a similar point, I will haste Yuna first. Because I think that support role is just too critical to not have... Dang it, dude. That was such a good run, too. What kind of damage do we do now? Slightly improved. Alright. Yeah. Dang, that sucks. I mean, 
She has a water board. I'm not really seeing... Yeah, I'm not seeing a way through this, really. Unless we got ridiculously lucky with Yuna, which is unlikely to happen. Whatever, we'll put all the eggs into one basket, see if we can magically clutch it if Seymour never attacks Yuna. Okay, slightly different outcome. Uh oh. Alright, I'm I'm seeing the vision now. At least a little bit. So hundred percent we slow the Guado Guard, we slow Seymour. We just that's how we start. Cause you cannot leave them hasted. It's it, they get too many turns. I'm glad they have to spend their turns to get rid of the Shremedy. That's that's really nice. What do I want to do here? Do I... Maybe... Maybe I stay Kimari for a second? Oh, wait, am I able to... I'm not able to get in before the boss. Darn. Would have liked to have put that armor on. Yeah, and then here, you're literally required to slow Seymour, because if you don't, then he just gets his next turn too fast for you to do anything. Man, my RNG with those Tetras is so bad. He has targeted Yuna so often. I'm half wondering, do I need to... Do I need to go back and, like... I don't know. Can we have auto shell from our Lunar Curtains? Is that something we can customize? Because if that could be her third ability, if we even have access to something like that, I, I doubt we have something like that. Let's be real. There's probably extreme copium. I think we're already cooked because Seymour just picked on Yuna instantly. And so now we have like zero ways to counter him using his next magic. Dang, man. That sucks. Like, we have wards, but unless it is, like, this perfect distribution, there's just no way. And Yuna's dead anyway. I don't think she can even really survive one. Yeah, no, man. That sucks. If he, if he kills Yuna on that first one, it's just over with this setup. That's alright, we'll just restart. Unless there's, like, something specifically that I'm missing. But I don't know. Besides... Like, besides starting Yuna... With, like, really the only counter to this that I am seeing 
is backtracking before crawler, setting Yuna up with a ward's armor in like well in advance. And when I say well in advance, I'm talking like that's got to be the armor that she ends that fight with is a multi ward armor. Because otherwise, there, there's just no living here. Okay, which one of these is the fast one? That one? And then we determined there's no way for her to get her turn before Seymour. I just wish it wasn't four. If it was three... If it was three, there'd be, like, something. Did I Dark Buster that guy instead of Sleep Buster him? Holy smokes, dude. Oh, oops. Yeah, dude, it being four instead of three sucks. And especially the randomness, too, because it's targeting everybody. Man. Just a tough, tough cup of noodles, man. Okay. Do we have time to... No, we don't. Oh, we can do this. We can get a Null Shock and then a Shell. I forgot to put on the armor. I forgot. Okay. Man. No, I think I have to heal him. Still can't get that armor on before... Okay, well, Yuna is our most critical party member at this point, so I think a shell here is pretty justified. Um, hmm. Do I want to sleep buster another one? I guess we ought to go for it, huh? Yeah, I think the first time I did a Dark Buster instead of a Sleep Buster by mistake. Oh, dude, even with a shell, man. Oh my gosh. I think we're dead again. Yeah, no, we're straight up, we're dead again. I think there's something. There must be something I'm missing. I don't know. I can't really think of anything. We really are just cooked.
I'm going to have a second look at some of the things I can customize. Okay, I don't have too much of a better idea than last time. But something else that I could do is I could have Riku... Have Riku maybe use a Chocobo Feather or two throughout and just try and keep us a little faster. Just however faster we can get certain buffs up, like like your sh your shell, or your haste, that kind of thing. If we're able to get some of those things in faster, that will, I think, help us. Jeez, dude. The triple attacking of a character is just nutty on that move. It just... If it decides that you're dying, you are dying. No questions asked. Which is kind of nuts. Okay. Now, we speed you up. Barely living. Uh, does she have to use the Mega Potion here? I think so. Perfect. Who's also important that we have shelled? Probably Titus. Do that. And now we hope. Just lean a little left. Yes, all right. Let's see again. Yeah, cool. Armor is good. You shall walk now. Solid. 
Let's... What are we thinking? Guess I'll deal with that one first. I just hope? What wards do you have, Mr. Titus? He does not have fire. Oh, we do have... That's right, we've got shell on everybody now. We're a little safer than what I've been used to. Well, okay. Unless... He does that. A literally only scenario. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, we're 100% taking a... E. No, let's just... Heal and then... He should be able to haste and get her in. Maybe, hopefully. Barely. My gosh. That was way too close. Man, it's so spooky when the shell, of all things, doesn't work. Like, that's when you know it's bad. Ugh, I'm gonna pray to RNG that this works. Just... Don't hit you no more than once, man. Alright, alright, we're chilling, kinda. Conversation. Okay. Now, do all of that. Next is lightning. Hmm. I'm wondering if I need to put the second dude to sleep now. So that, I don't know. I'll just focus on that one, keep that one asleep. something to be said for that. Ah, jeez. That's awful. What do I want to do? Maybe I can... I forget which status reels icon is the one that petrifies everything. I'll just play for the overdrive here. Dude, what the heck? Seriously? 
I'm actually, like, kind of starting to get annoyed by how often Yuna is getting targeted. Like, really? You're gonna tell me that we have three characters here. Everyone has shell. Everyone's got an ol. And yet, time after time, dude, the targeting bias is crazy. Unless my luck is, like, actually that bad. In which case, that is hilarious. But no, I... I have no words. Okay, now I've got to go back to my other weapon. Oh, you thought you were going to do something cool there, didn't you? Alright, so we just used lightning. I gotta do water. And now I have I don't even have time to do a shell. So now I'm just praying to the gods that we don't get hit again. Like what is going on? Do I I don't know, dude. We're so close to like some of these overdrives. Maybe I'll wait instead of entrusting. Yeah, you thought, man. You thought. If I lose this again, I'm putting Fire Strike on Waka's weapon. This, surely that would kill him, right? I, I don't see a scenario where this doesn't kill. I'm just going to go for it. Okay, yeah. This is probably overkill, truth be told. If I'd known it was going to do this kind of damage, I would have gone for the full health one. Jeez, dude. Now that is an overkill if I ever saw one. Do we shell already? No, that was the next thing. Okay. Ah, that's right. I didn't talk to him yet. You that will master, help. But I will still fight. Your eyes, they burn with resolve. Beautiful. Oh, no agility. No, it's not magic defense. Oh, my gosh. Spooky, dude. We are still safe, though. Um, are we going to be able to... Ooh, right. Agility, agility. And what are we supposed to do with agility? What do I do? Go bonk him? Hmm. Let's see. Whatever, man. I say we pop one of these one more time. Or actually, maybe I wait for Titus to do his move? Yeah. Now we just pray. Okay, so he legitimately has to pick Yuna three times 
if she's at full health. So the fact that this is happening even remotely, the amount that it has, is insane. Good golly gosh. Uh, oh, Titus is actually bad for attacking Seymour here. So I guess we will not have him do that. We could get... Who could we get? I feel like this is not... Hmm... I wonder if we can magic break him. I'm curious enough to see. You can. What? And you can silence him? Oh my gosh. But what does he do when he's silenced? That's what I'm afraid of. Hang on. Let's just check. Or not that. Shell. Shock? Okay, so he's supposed to be using... Supposed to be using lightning next. So let me just keep that up. Sounds proofify. Ooh, I see. So you only get one, one go at the silence. All right. So. Oh, and Orin is so slow. Speed him up a bit. So provided we're staying in the order, the next one would be water. But I want to wait until... Yeah. Does Orin have a water ward also? Yeah. Just, just because. Let's do that. Get rid of those. Oh no, so it's just whatever the last one he used. Okay, so now he should use water. Let's get Lulu in. Just have her in and out. Oh, I'm so scared. I don't know when he's going to get anima out here if it's going to be when he i guess we can assume it's going to be when he reaches half health right so let's do you know what i might have screwed myself by by using that silence strike right now instead of in the third phase. Unless the third phase is a different instance of Seymour and I can do it again, then and only then, maybe. Otherwise, it might be a little cooked. I'm gonna pop one of those in case I'm able to do something with Waka later. So next is fire. All 
All right, so it seems like they want us to just do the fight. So in that case, let me get Titus back in here. Um, we can maybe charge his overdrive some. There's no way Waka would have no shock still, right? Ah, no, he does. Okay. Kind of wanted to heal. Alright, so that was like, what, 2,000 HP? So once we did 10,000 damage. Okay. I am gonna hope that Pain is not one hit KO. Default. What the? Anima stores up a twi- <laughs> What? Wait, what does that even mean? Okay, so Anima takes 50% more element damage. Alright. So that's good. Oh, Faith, lend me strength. No, 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 no. I don't know about all that. Hmm. I don't know if I wanna... Do I wanna pop a bunch of overdrives and, like, get this thing out of here? I'm thinking about it. Let's see what damage we're doing. Whoa, what? Uses default to shield itself. Then takes two turns at once. Oh, okay. That sounds like trouble. Actually, wait, we're not going to gain any overdrive from this phase. Because there's no elements. Let's. Oh, and that shields it too. That's right. That's what it said. Gross. That is a funny animation, though. Cannot lie. I'm real worried about what it's going to do. So we'll summon question marks. Hmm. 
I really don't want to take any chances. That first phase of the fight just takes so long to redo. I'm really not about that. Let's have... Let's have her shield. If we get an immune here, that means trouble. Oh, trouble, dude. Dang, dude, double pain. That would have been absolutely devastating. Although, to be honest, I don't think there's anything I can do. Because if Anima is going to use default on this turn and then just get two turns... Well, we might be able to play something on the next one because we get two turns in a row. I don't think Heavenly Strike is worth. No, let's stick to normal attacks. And that does chip damage. Yeah! That's such low damage, man. So this is an Aeon. I just don't know if me using Diamond Dust is going to guarantee that it gets Overdrive. Well, but... Okay, but if it uses Overdrive on Shiva, then that's not the worst thing in the world. I, I, let's just do it. We'll see what happens. That is a whole lot of nothing. So is it going to get another pain then? No. But, yeah, this makes it all the more clear to me that we have to get rid of this, like, immediately. Oh my gosh, dude. Not terrible damage, but... Man, I cannot believe that it's still one-hit kills. That's insane to me. Huge crit. Shield man. Oh, Riku is still. Oh no. Oh no. Well, that's so sad. Alright, Riku will not be making a guest appearance on the uh, anima show. Jeez, dude. Huge crits, though. I think we just barely, like, don't kill it. Oh my god, dude. Two pains, though. That's awful. Ah, 
I was hoping for literally anybody else. Okay. Do we... Yeah, I think we do that. Okay. I messed up that Orox reels, man. That hurt. Hurt everything. I totally forgot what was the last thing Seymour cast, too. So now I have no idea where we are in the order. We'll just start from the top, I guess. So one attack from Titus finishes the job, I think. Absolutely devastating, man. That power that defeated Anima... It will be mine! And then... Alright. So can we re-silence Proofify? Nope. Still immune. Oh, dude, no. Oh my god. I think we are actually cooked. There's no scenario where you win this. Let's see, does Orin get two turns? No. Oh, dude, no, it's so over. No, man. Oh, it was such a good run. I don't know, dude, unless like we get the godliest RNG on this. Oh, is it water? We'll see, I don't know. But Yuna can't even take three. Okay. We can have Titus slow, at least. And then we can also have her shell him again. Just please don't rehaste, dude. Alright, is that a counter, or is that his move? Nope, that's his actual move. Alright, that, that's a counter, I mean. Oh, dog. Dude. Oh, that is soul crushing. Oh, dude. That was right at the end. All right, so. So, really, the only thing I need to change is just Orin needs to not use Silent Strike on him immediately. Otherwise, he'll be immune later. When it very clearly matters. Dang, man. What a fight, though. I don't even know how much of that I was... Like... Ah, oh, man.
Oh, dude, come on! We're immediately starting with this. Alright, gods of RNG, do not let Yuna die immediately. Man, that ain't a whole lot better, to tell you the truth. I thought I was going to give Walk a Fire Strike next time, didn't I? Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, well, you can't have Alchemy and Fire Strike. Alright, then it uh, doesn't matter. Mm. Yeah, she's got time. I still cannot get over the double pain anima. Like, that is just wild to me that that's even a part of this. on the safe side I'm gonna do this just top everybody off then start working on the uh, the old shells you know or actually wait Titus has wards doesn't he he's got wards for like everything under the sun let's let's do that first Did I forget to shell her or something? I did forget to shell her, didn't I? Uh, it's still early in the fight. I mean, I could probably toss this one, but we'll just play it out. It's fine. Mm, no, I think it's too late, actually, because Titus doesn't get another turn until... It'll be, like, too late to get her in, I think. Dang, dude. Alright, we'll just reset this one. Be right back. I must have the worst luck known to mankind. now? I don't think so. Well, only in the sense that if Seymour picks you more than once, then we're kind of done for. Every single time. It's just uncanny how often Yuna is the one that gets multi-hit. 
Like, is there a targeting bias to where, like, it's intentionally picking a character with lower max HP? Or, like, I don't know. It, it seems, honestly, just, like, ridiculously bad luck to me. If anything, it's not any of that other stuff I'm trying to say that it is. Like, that, that, that's too much. But you can't deny that my my luck with Seymour targeting Yuna over and over again, you can't deny that it isn't ridiculously bad. Alright. Alright, deal with the last person. And Okay, yeah, yeah, that, that, that keeps us safe. And then now we're able to do that. Now I'm able to do this. All right, now we're hopefully past the prep phase, provided that we don't again encounter the situation of Better that we don't encounter the situation of Seymour picking the same person four frickin' times in a row. Jeez. Almost happened, too. Uh, this is not a good turn order, even remotely. I don't like this. Alright, could be worse. Okay, the one person who has no... right? Alright, could have gone worse. I think provided nothing else stupid happens, we're in the clear. Um, yeah. Let's get our strength up. Maester. What do I do here? Do I null frost? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to null frost again, huh? Might just be how it is. Hmm. Maybe I entrust to Waka? Have Waka try to do some Orox reels again? You can see. Crap, wait. That is not good. That is very not good. Okay. Well. This might kill the left one. This might kill both of them. 
please just leave her alone. She's been through enough. She's been through enough, I said. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Um, if we can RNG our way through this turn, that might be a good time to get Orin in a magic break. Because the problem with Orin is that he's not hasted yet, and I think he still has Silence Strike on in this autosave, which we don't want. Oh, uh, I think it's water next, I'm pretty sure. Jeez, Waka, pop off, man. Oh, no, it's Thunder. Worst outcome. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold the phone. I'll take three turns over one any day. Man, what the heck, dude? I keep not remembering the nulls and stuff at the worst possible times. Okay. No, Orin does not get in before Seymour, dude, man. Oh my gosh. This is so annoying, dude. If Yuna dies again... Brother! Can we not? Does that magic break at least, or...? No, that doesn't apply. I swear. Of course all Borns of Weapons have elements on them. Why not? Oh, this heals him, too. What the heck, man? I genuinely have the worst... I genuinely have the worst luck with character targeting in this boss fight. Like, straight up. Okay. I don't even remember what the element was last time, man. Just pop a focus, pop a magic break. Probably have to spend another revive. Oh my gosh, another... I'm so stupid. How am I even allowed to play this game still? Someone needs to take the controller. My, my turn is over. I don't get to play anymore. It's 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 just so cooked. Like how It's all right. I'll just run it again. And and not drop the ball. This is kind of turning into a much longer recording session. It's been like 5 attempts, 6 attempts or something. Including the really long one. Actually, probably a couple more than that. If I don't get it within, like, this attempt, the next attempt, like... I think it's just gonna have to be a next session kind of thing, just for the sake of time. But at least, I have a game plan. I do know what I want to do to beat this boss. Of course, you both picked the same person. And I guess it doesn't matter because if Seymour were to pick her twice, regardless, she's dead still. Alright, RNG. Bless me on this night. 
I don't know if that's very blessed, but it's definitely better than Yuna getting picked twice. Holy, dude. Now, instead of not picking Yuna, he's, like, basically never picking her. Not great. Yeah, I think that's what we gotta do here. Man. Now we're still waiting on RNG, too. Because if Titus gets hit again... Just need a real good distribution of moves here. You just can't make any kind of progress until... Does she get two turns? Yes, conditionally. I think I just don't have a choice but to revive him. If I leave him down, then it's just game over. Now I've got the worst one fire because he doesn't have a ward for that. By now I would normally have shell or something. Just anything, man. Alright, pray to RNG Jesus that Waka doesn't get hit with the blizzard. Solid. This is just sad. Literally, no matter what we do. I just... Can we... If we Grand Summon and do Energy Raid, does that one-hit kill? I would hope it does, but I have no idea. I guess we'll get our talk in. What are we supposed to do? Thunder next. Let's just see.
Why? Dude, every time. Literally every single time that we've done this. Barely he gets in before the boss. I'm able to pop a shell. Okay. Oh, next is water. Do this. Start hasting, man. Dude, we're just stuck in this awkward limbo for so long. Honestly, it's definitely my customizing choices. Like, that's definitely a pretty strong contributing factor. I would think. But also, like, there's just not a whole lot you can do with Yuna, especially because you can't change anything from her unless you do it before a crawler. And there was no, there's no way for me to know in advance. Like, I had no idea that this was going to be like this. So I kind of just had to hope. Okay, but I do water. Actually, we already have that. And... I guess I can experiment here. I'll just grand summon this. See if energy ray gets rid of them. I have no clue if this is going to work. I'm going to hope so, because otherwise... Yeah, otherwise that would be really pointless, and they'd spam mega potions. Editor's note, I'm going to take a quick restroom break. Be right back.
All right, we are back. Went to AFK for a second. So, I think that a bunch of the losing attempts I'm going to cut out because I did do literally the same thing and they just kind of died to early unit deaths, which isn't really interesting to watch. I have no idea what move he's going to use next because I went AFK. Oh, holy smokes, dude. That is not good. Maester. All right, well, I'm seeing that we have no Tide on right now, so I'm just going to pop a no Blaze. I should not have gone AFK at that time. I knew you were bad news the first time we met. Oh, Seymour! Nothing else we can do. Well, uh, good thing we did fire. Next is ice. Let's get rid of some of these. All right, let's also do that. So here's my plan is we might I might sit here and just farm some overdrive off of Seymour 1 now that we have kind of gotten him down to safe HP thresholds. Dude, I was about to have a stroke. If Yuna died again, man, like that, I would have been so done. Alright, so we did use Magic Brick, though, right? Yeah. Dude, that's crazy, though. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to farm Yuna's Overdrive. No. Wait, no, that's kind of mandatory, because the last time I made it to the second phase, I had the Aeon. No, dude, I gotta do that. That gives us the best shot. If I have to, I will entrust Titus' full overdrive to Yuna to be able to do that again. I don't really care. Who else do we need to get in? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. We have full party AP in the spreadsheet and all. I won't worry about that. Uh, is there anything I could do with Riku, maybe? I could haste her. Might be something to that.
Does a rook charge from just getting hit when you have shell? Interesting. I'm not sure if I realized that. Who else can be haste? Why don't we just haste everyone, man? And then what could we give Kimari for the next phase? Guess that. Next is water, right? Yeah. What could we do with Kamari? I don't think there's much we can do. Ah, cheer, right. Wait, I just realized Kimari has been holding the the spear wrong the entire time. How did I not notice yet? Alright, let's entrust. Just so we've got like our get out of jail free card for that next phase. Get us a head start on damage and stuff. And then I, I just I want to take no chances. I want to get some of these overdrives a little bit charged. We can cheer too. That'll boost our physical damage. Might even pop a few lux. I just. It was kind of soul-crushing to make it to that phase and then not beat it. So. Yeah, for that reason. I just, I want to take extra, extra precautions. Holy crit, dude. Jeez, man. Yeah, since I've got free heals and I can get away with it, we're just gonna play a little bit of a safer strat. Like, I know that probably, almost certainly, there is hope for me to get through the next phase without doing some of this over preparing. But just because I got kind of caught lacking the first time, I wanna. Oh shoot. I didn't do Fire Man. Totally forgot. Or Blizzard or whatever. Alright, well. That's fine then. Next is lightning.
I'm gonna wait and then push him on the next turn. Who gets a decent amount of turns? that this time it ends up a little better than the previous time so on the final turn we have Unigrand summon and then we squeeze a couple of turns from Shiva And then Shiva's gonna die to pain eventually, and when that happens, we have a good opening, I think, to do some of this. Oh, Faith. Can't decide if I want to do chip damage on the off turns when I have like two moves in a row. I think that's going to make it take too long, so I'm just going to pop my overdrive. And let that be that, I think. So not a ton of damage at all, but oh, actually, hmm. actually, yeah, no, I should have shielded, then taken the pains, and then done it. That probably would have been better. Oh, but no, but then, then I don't have this opportunity to, I guess, only use the rocks reels apparently. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't do my turns very good. Gosh. That's gonna cost me, man. That sucks so much. doing so much more damage last time. Jeez. 
Jeez, bro. Jeez, man. Yeah, Warren's just not doing similar damage at all. I think dragon skills are my best bet. Or well, these two. Oh no, not even close. Okay, never mind. I mean, it is a rank two move though, so maybe there's something to be said for that. to just prepare for later. God, that is such a nothing amount of damage. I definitely fumbled on what I had Shiva do. It's just unfortunate. up a phoenix downs here is so it's so bad If I had thought about it, I would have eaten the pains and then, I guess, done the diamond dust. Just get a whole lot more damage than what I got. Alright, so what happens if I haste? What happens if I... I think we can kill it here. Barely though. I don't believe Seymour gets a turn when he comes back in immediately, but we are going to have to do this next thing real quick. Smokes, yeah, no. 
Okay. Mm. He's going to use haste first, right? Does he use haste first and then? I, I can't remember, man. I totally cannot remember. Oh, that's... Okay, he auto-hastes. Alright, that's bad. And then I, I don't remember what he used last time. And we have no haste, so now... I think it's cooked, dude. We have no buffs, no haste. He's magic broken at least, but... No, it was fire, man. Got to write down, dude. I literally just cost myself the run because I didn't remember what magic he used. Okay, I'm just going to have to end this session here and come back to this next time. I've been recording for ages. i got a lot of trimming to do on this one. I definitely understand the mechanics of this fight and what to do better. I just totally tossed at the end by not, by not remembering what magic that he used before Anima came out. Like, literally, I just, I genuinely threw... If, if I don't throw there, I think I win. And then, too, I didn't really uh, maximize my damage with with Shiva. I think what you want to do is you shield the pains. And then you pop the... Then you pop the... The Diamond Dust. Or, or maybe, honestly, it's even better to just wait until you have the two turns in a row. And then you pop the Diamond Dust. But I, I definitely didn't maximize my efficiency there and it cost me really hard because I lost so many buffs before that third Seymour phase and then instead of shelling everybody up with Riku I just went for the silence thing with Orin because I, I just forgot what he was going to do I didn't remember so We'll probably get it in the next session, I think. I'm pretty close. Just one small slip-up, man, right at the end. Cost everything. Yeah, that's it. See you guys next time.